Hey guys, MDL here. Uh, we're back with another tutorial. Um, this time I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a start dot back because a lot of people are confused. I do have a video on that already, but I'm doing this for simply just Windows start dot bat instead of doing both Mac and PC right now. So first thing you're just gonna do is a new text document, and we're gonna name this just, just start. Don't change anything. Just type in start. All right. So now it says text document. So then you're gonna open it. Actually, let's not do that. Actually, you can do that. Edit with Notepad++, our Notepad will work. And then, once we're in here now, we're actually going to want to save it as... So, save as... A batch file. So, you go here, save as type, and you look for batch file. Click on that, and we'll save that in here. Save. So, now, if we look, we have the start, which we don't... So, we actually close out of this. Get rid of... You don't need the start. You basically need the start.bat. And so, you don't want to edit that with Notepad++. Or notepad, sorry. And then we're just gonna start typing. So at echo off, which is basic batch, and then we'll type Java, which is Java, which is the regular Java. If uh, sometimes you need to clarify which Java, so what you would do is you would put in a parenthesis or in a quotation marks the uh, type of like the location to your Java that you want to use if it does not work. And then we'll type dash xms. 1024m for a th one gigabyte. So you can. This is actually totally. Like, you can act, I think you can actually put GB or G for and one G or one GB for a gigabyte. But that's one gigabyte. And then dash XMX 1024m again. So this is totally customizable. If you want two gigabytes, you put you know 248. I think it is. And then dash jar. And then. Whatever your whatever your jar is, you put there. So that uh, Minecraft underscore server point one point seven point ten dot jar is what I am ha what what I have in here. So that's what I will use. But if if your jar is named like Cauldron or something, then then you'll use that. But for this, I have the Minecraft server, so that's what I'll use. And then just under there, just pause so it doesn't close after it's done. Save that, and there we go. That that's all you need to do. So I'll just actually start this up, just so you can see. That it works. We'll give it a second. Hopefully, it works. And as you, it did work, um, yeah, I can't type anything. So there we go. As you can see, it worked. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave any comments for any other. See done. So yeah, leave any comments for anything um you want me to do a tutorial on or anything else like that.